Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So over the past couple weeks, I've been making some significant changes and upgrades to the drive system of the tank here. The previous setup that I had was this engine driving a single pump, pumping fluid to the two valves up there, and then back to the drive motors to drive the tracks like that. The issue with that is because I only have one pump controlling both tracks, the tracks can't go at independent speeds. They can only go at the same speed. So it's either both all forward, both all back, or one forward and one back. So the obvious problem with that is it makes it so that you can only drive in straight lines before having to stop and turn and then continue on. And that's why in the previous um, test drive videos you've seen, the tank is very very jerky when you're trying to drive it, when I'm driving it, because I have to go stop, turn really abruptly to keep going. And it's not really that pleasant of an experience. So the changes I've made, I've added a second pump in there. Now what this will do is I'll have one pump for each track, which will let me control the tracks completely independently of each other. So I can have one going forward at full speed and one going forward at say half speed, which makes me able to turn much more fluently and easily. And it will be a lot more comfortable. I, have the, I did the calculations for the horsepower required and I figured out that this one pump I had in there before was only actually using about six or seven horsepower at the maximum PSI. I did um, install a pressure gauge in the line and I found out that the maximum pressure the um, system reaches is about 1200, 1250 PSI and that's when you're turning, that's when it experiences the most. So from that I was able to do the calculations and I think just adding, a, based on those calculations, adding a second pump in should be okay for this engine. Speaking of the engine, I said I was going to replace it and I have. This is a completely different engine. It's basically the exact same thing. This is a 16 horsepower. The old one was 15 and a half, but this is just a newer, nicer engine. It runs much better than the old one. And it had the electric start and a whole wiring harness from the riding lawnmower um, still attached to it. So now I have electric start. I have interior lights. Well, the capabilities for that, I don't have them set up yet, but this is much nicer. The other big change that I made is what, since I had to make some modifications back here to accommodate the second pump, um, I would have had to make some big changes to the hydraulic reservoir right here. So I just ended up building a, an entire brand new one. You can see there's the old one right there sitting in the garbage pile. So this is a brand new hydraulic reservoir. I finished building this a few days ago. It's actually made out of decent steel. I think it's 10 gauge um, sheet steel. As you can see in there, I have two of those strainers now, one for each um, pump. So that's that. Other change that I made up here was I got rid of the other homemade muffler I had in there. I had built a, a mu another muffler right there, but I didn't really like it. Um, I didn't think it was doing all that much since I already have these two other mufflers on the side and it, all it really was was just a big box of heat right behind you which is not very comfortable. So that is the drive system. I wanted to do a, drive, a test drive on this video but unfortunately I'm still waiting on another relief valve for this pump. So once that comes then I'll do a test drive video of that. Not too many changes up here. I did raise the seat up a little bit um, so that your head will be out of the top of the turret. This it, down here is the electric start. I mounted on this pipe here from the, this is the, just the key assembly from the lawnmower. Now I actually have a key, which is kind of cool. But have the throttle hooked up here. This is that. Um, there's the pressure gauge down there so I can um, see what the pressure of the system is at from the sitting in the driver's seat, which is quite convenient. A couple other things I've done was I had some issues with these front idler wheels bending back a little bit, so I added this extra support in here. 
and this screw, this just bolts into the same channel as this one does, but that adds a lot more strength to it. Um, so I should not have any problems with this bending in. Because even if I add, after I added that um, axle in there, it was still it was still like pushing it back a little bit. Now I shouldn't have any issues with that. The other issues I had, a bigger issue was the very back road wheel on each side would bend out when you're turning because as you're turning, there's a lot of stress on this back wheel because that's what pretty much all the weight is on. And as that's being dragged across the ground, there's a lot of force pushing it out. So I've made this brace right here. This is a piece of steel here that's threaded in at an angle to screw into the bolt that holds the idler arm in. And then this bolts onto this other arm that I have coming up back to the frame. This is extremely heavy duty here. So I'm hoping that that will solve the issues there. And also with the um, changes I've made on the drive system, it should be gentler on the tracks and on the um, wheel assemblies. Because before, whenever you turned, it had to turn at full speed, which put a lot of stress on the tracks and the wheels. So this, that should also help that issue. A couple other things, the turret is over here. Have it all painted and set up. I think it looks really nice. Um, have the hatch up here so you can climb in there. Um, I also did glue the um, um, turret ring onto the bottom of that. So that is on there um, good now. Other things I've done here is I made the pieces for the fenders. Some up there and some pieces back over there. Those will go right above the tracks. They'll sit on those arms sticking out from the frame. So that's pretty much where I am now. I really wanted to have this thing finished completely by the 4th of July. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to finish the gun for it, but I'll have it driving and everything for that. So I'll put out, a, I'll make a video for the 4th of July once I do that. That'll be a fun, mostly just a fun video with the tank and other stuff. I'll figure, the cannon won't be ready. I'll figure out something, don't worry. So that's pretty much where I am now. The next video will be uh, the 4th of July video. I'll probably make another video just for the test drive since I wasn't able to do that in this video. And then also go over the differences in that video of how everything worked out and such. So that's mostly it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.